Even I, in all of my infinite wisdom, rimrims, will admit that it was a bit too much yesterday. And it's still going to be a bit too much today as well. That was that was too many raids. I don't even know what this one is. Hello? Anybody there? Oh, it's shitloads of mechanoids again. Very good. Hello there. How you doing? Do love, like, ah, how much it's, it's almost like a full-on war out here, though. This is kind of cool. Oh, my leaper. Speaking of which, I've written down all the names you suggested last episode for... The enormous void monsters. And actually, Mechanoids brings me on to one of the plans I wanted to put into action today, suggested by some lovely people in the comments. Actually, two plans today that I wanted to uh, put into action. Because they're not putting much, in, much into action over here, are they? Is there seriously nothing better you could do with your lives? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Oh, there we go. Squad's moving up and they're cleaning it out. 78, where have you put your gun? Oh, I wonder if she dropped it on the floor when she got in the med pod. That would be it. We'll dig that up in a second. Right now, she's using a sword, which, to be honest, probably far better. Far better for the Grigners, anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that that's part of my plan today, anyway. Oh, a couple of episodes back now, I asked, what would be the best thing to do? If, if, if you were in charge, what would you do in the face of flexing on Void? Somebody said, and I do like this idea a lot, what better flex is there than retiring? What if, what if me and 78 stop fighting on the front lines and we let other people, brainwashed Void members at this point, die for us? I get my own hands dirty when I can sit on my very lovely nuclear throne. I've made one or two changes behind the scenes that should hopefully allow us to actually get in a straight up one-on-one -on -one fight with Void. No more of them just running around the walls and smashing down doors and... and just going into weird places where they pose absolutely no threat whatsoever. We're gonna have a full-on showdown. I think we finally put these damn turrets to good use. And this is where the second part of the plan comes in. We can't guarantee that everybody who turns up and fights is gonna be the M4 infected or void, right? Because there are also bloody mechanoids. And I don't know about you, but well, Joris the Brave is apparently into it as well. I am totally sick of fighting mechanoids at this point. Would you look at that? It just so happens we have an unkillable squad of Grigners ready to go out there into the world and stop them. I mean, look at them. They're raring to go. I think what we'll do is we'll move the, the mines down into... Buh. <laughs> trying to reinstall that if you don't mind. B, I think we'll move them right down into this corner here. I'm going to seal up every entrance besides this top one here. I'm going to build a big sweaty kill box. That's not, that's not in the cards. That's not happening. I almost want to, and this is probably famous last words. I almost want to challenge Void. I want to build layers and layers of turrets and traps and interesting little designs here for them to try and get through into the base uh, against, right? For God's sake, not like this. 4.2 days and then 18 hours for Void. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> no, I've been saying this a lot, but today is the day we will finally get a good fight with Void. Today's the day. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel my bones everywhere. Apparently, I've got bones in my lungs, bones in my heart. As far as I recall, had a brain bone. Leave it all with marble, and we throw down big water features, enormous fountains, statues of me. Why have I not thrown down any statues of me yet? I think I did throw down that brief statue of me, but as I recall, it didn't look anything like me. Uh, art bench. That's what we need. Sure, 78's head fell off. Do you remember that? Ah, oh, simpler times. Those are good days, weren't they? Hey, where are your clothes? Where have your clothes gone, though? Have you got no clothes? You know what? Back to the samurai idea. I miss you, concrete samurai. Not for the Grigners, for, for 78. She, I remember, she she put on that helmet first. I didn't tell her to do that. Um, Blasteel? I mean, as much as I like rebar concrete, I feel like... Was staring me in the face all this time. Coal Samurai? <laughs> I'm gonna regret this idea, aren't I? No, actually, that's something else I wrote down for my ideas list. Somebody said, please make a big coal bowl. I don't know how to make a little coal bowl. I think they only come from quests. And how many coal bowls is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25? Like 50. Like 50 coal bowls. That's... <sighs> We'll cross that hurdle when we get there. Somebody did say in the comments last episode that there was a distinct lack of coal. There you go. You happy now? I mean, on the plus side, at least I can control the coal influx. You can't mine it from a mine. I'm going to have to get the deep drill to do it. Oh, what a what an egregious waste of a deep drill. Where is the deep drill? Hello? Did Void steal my deep drill last time they attacked? Deep? You shit. I love that that's all they've been the entire series. Just burglars. Just burglars turning up and taking my stuff all the time. Normally my very expensive irreplaceable stuff like the med pods. Oh, there's too many tabs. 
Oh, God. Where the fuck is it? Uh, drill. Here we go. Uh, plasma drill. Wait, plasma drill? Was that the random one? Uh, yeah, I don't even know anymore. No, that was the pulse drill. That was the pulse drill. It's all coming back to me. Right, throw that down. This is a coal drill. And then with the coal drill, we're going to use that to make armor. Are we going to be able to do this in 15 hours? It's going to be a stretch. 990 marble blocks. We didn't exactly get enough to terraform the entire base, did we? Um, well, you know what? Let me see what I can do. Let me see if I can come up with a, with a nice old design here. I've got to look through all these different floor types first. My god, you know we've had far too many mechanoid raids when <laughs> over half the storage device is just dead mechanoids. Holy shit. It's like almost all dead mechanoids. Oh! Somebody said that apparently, and I'm not sure that I trust them on this one. Let's listen to this first and tell me if this also sounds like bullshit to you. They said that we need to uh, set the magnetic shields up. That will protect us against void flares, which again, I'm not sure it has, but we'll see how it goes. Apparently, uh, we need to turn off auto scram and flare scram, which will stop the reactor shutting down when the cooling towers have no power. Otherwise, if it didn't do that, your, your reactor would just heat up until it blew up, right? They said that to get the flares to work, you need to turn that off. But that doesn't sound right. It, it sounds like an entrapment. Oh, I say that, it looks as if the power's still on. Oh my god, I think I take back everything I've just said. This may be rare comment section W. Oh my god. I mean, the reactor's still turning off because I didn't have it turned off when I disabled flare scram. Holy shit. Oh, you know what? I'm so sorry. I take back everything I said. I shouldn't be such a cynic. Hello? That's not that many void people. Now we see the real... Now we see the, 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 the real test. Are they just going to run through the walls? Digging at steel auto door. Where, though? Where, though? <gasps> Holy shit. Oh! Shit, okay, I didn't seal that bit up. But that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Grigna, what are you doing there, you fool? Okay, okay, okay. So if I'd have actually bothered to seal the base up, this genuinely may have worked. This genuinely may have worked perfectly. But instead I've... Oh, well, that's one Grigna down. Instead I let them run all the way up here and fight my dryads, but that's fine. A line of Grignas will stop them. And if they don't, I'll just bring 78 up, up around the outside. Oh, this is, this is a much better fight. This is much more... Ah, yeah, but, like, careful, though. Actually, give them a chance to fight, for God's sake. This is much more what I had in mind. Oh, my God. Finally, it's so perfect. A Lion of Grigna fights a Lion of Void. He did the flip of the bacon, man. Oh, I come in. Now I step up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to step up and help them, even though I want to retire. We can't quite yet. We're not quite there, but holy shit, this might be... Oh, my God. Look at them flinging the Void members around. This is amazing. This actually could be so good. If it wasn't for this enormous weight, I need that for my collection of void monsters. Hey, turn off your fire at will. Hey, uh, how do I turn that off? Uh, where is fi fire at will? It's right there. <laughs> 7,000 hours, by the way. Uh, animal speech. Animal speech. Speak to animal. Go. No, she's a friend. Don't kill her. Yes. No, kill that one. <gasps> Black Wraith 1. Hey, very nice. Uh, don't forget a lot of these void members are just going to stand back up, though. So maybe just go uh, finish them off. Finish them off. Die. We are going to have to try and finish off the assassins. What, with like a butcher spot? That was what everybody said last time was it would be a good way to do it. Just to clarify, the last time we had the void assassins and I was like, oh god, how do I stop them? Everybody saying, oh, build the crematorium or whatever. That wasn't, that wasn't very convenient right then. It was more of like an in the moment, how do I stop them? We're just going to butcher the, butcher the void people? This bucko drink music has never been more appropriate. Um, Grigna, butcher these... No, 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 no sign to butchering. Grigna, I need to butcher these void people for me, my friend. This is actually going to work. Oh my god, it might. <laughs> you know, instead of me, like, eating them like I did last time, you take them, and that's one of the ones that'll resurrect, and then you just butcher them. Holy crap. You will be upset because you had to, like, butcher a, a person? Look, they're coming back already. Quick. Quick, Grigna, butcher them faster, for God's sake, man. <laughs> I can't believe this worked. <laughs> the ultimate weapon against void. Oh, there are still some troublemakers over there. The ultimate weapon against void. A butcher spot. We just got. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did I say allow all? Don't allow, no, 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 no! Don't allow colonists. For God's sake! This is a perverse and questionable idea. But holy shit, they're not coming back from that one. They're going into the nutrient pace vat now. Ooh! Well, there was one in the kill box. Oh, you're another one that needs butchering. This was a great call. Thank you, random commenter. This was, a, this was an amazing idea. Bucko would be proud. 
Buck, I wouldn't be proud. He never did anything this fucked up. <laughs> what a legacy we have left behind for Void. I'm happy with that. What is that? A stalker. Oh my god, look at that thing. That's horrible. He was chasing after my guy. Now, all I have to do is throw down some walls across here. Maybe, maybe like uh, just some doors, some like vault doors or something. And you know what? I think we're in business. I think we could have an actual proper fight with Void for once. Best part of all, another friend for the colony. So, the names list was very good. Number one, a uh, very dangerous name to give to this enormous lady. Ice Wolf. Welcome to the team. But he suggested the incredible name J Joris Isn't for the Volatile Leaper. And then, of course, maybe my favorite of all of them for the Black Titan. Fantastic suggestion. So, I mean, when you look at that, what does it remind you of? You know, with the, the kind of white hat that they've got going on and the enormous muscles and gigantic frame. That's right. They said name them Bigner. So that's exactly what we're going to name them. <laughs> well aware that that quote unquote white hat was a, oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Okay. You know what? Again, I, I, I completely take back. This was, a, this was a great suggestion. Great suggestion all around, really. You are joking. <laughs> wow. This might be the first wolf we've ever seen to survive, and all it took was kidnapping an enormous void monster. Amazing. Oh, we can make coal bowls. Oh, well, that's good. Hello? Oh, the eclipse ended and everything went a horrible color of green. Um, oh, man. Oil paintings. Oh, I need a few of those for my soon-to-be palace. A pyramid. I'll take a couple of obelisks, too. A couple of different oil paintings. Uh, phonographs and pendulum clocks. These all sound lovely. Pottery. Sculptures. Reliefs. What a relief this will be. In fact, what a relief it will be when I've wiped out these mechanoids I keep forgetting to do. Grigners, I've got a job for you. <laughs> I wonder what that means. T3. Is that is that their strength? I'm not entirely sure. T3, Joris isn't. T1. Is that like their training level? Because I can draft up uh, Joris isn't, but I can't do it with Ice Wolf or Bigner yet. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Well, weird. I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, shit. They're only four person. Um, If we got a different ship, I could blast them off in because I'd hate to send two ships because that sounds like a nightmare. An airship? Oh, hello. Well, that looks fun. Huge airship model used by the ancients who like to paint everything red. Its original bomb rack is not ready due to lost technology, but it's easy to... <laughs> it's not a bug, it's a feature. I feel like that might be. Uh, paintable, no. Damn. I think I wanted to paint that a different color. Um, standard airship, because unfortunately none of these have enough seats. That one is only three seats. Oh, shit. We're just going to have to build two of the carriels then, aren't we? Oh, this could take a while, couldn't it? Well, let's smash some mechanoids. Rarely would I ever say this, but my god, do I feel bad for these mechanoids. Get him, squad. Oh, just... I hope they don't shoot the ship. That would be the only problem. Oh, the other Grigners are here. Hello. One down, just another 50 or so to go. Relations with Void plus 20. I don't want to have good relations with Void. Will admit, it is a bit cooler having all the colonists go in their own separate pods rather than all in one big SRTS ship or something like that. I don't think we need this many Grigners in, in one site. Let's start spreading them out. I mean, personally, I feel like these encounters are a little bit rude. These mechanoids signed up to fight Void, not pure concentrated stupidity. That's another one down. Thank you. <laughs> Shit, they landed on a part of the ship and it disappeared. Oh, what a good weapon. Great idea, Grigners. Let's not pretend they did that on purpose. They're morons. Uh, yeah, like speaking of morons, though, like uh, fight, the, fight the fucking mechanoids. Another one. Another one. Yes. More. I've already run out of things to say. And I've got to do this for another four hours. Staddle. And another one. <laughs> and another one. This is down. This is another one dead. <laughs> wow! I have successfully slain another mechanoid sh ship. <sighs> ah. Ah, oh, piss. Rather sadly, may have lost one of the Grigners in a fiery explosion. And another one of those ships. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> okay. All right. I see. This is the final big hurrah for the mechanoids then, is it? 78. Show them what we mean. Hello there. Nice to see you all. How are you? Yeah, I am. Um, I might have accidentally forgot to pick up a Grigner in one of the spaceships, so he's walking home. <laughs> Boom. Oh, and another one. I mean, um, please. <laughs> ah, what a game. Anybody remember that? A much better game than this one, for sure. 
I do this to myself. I can only apologize. Oh, no, no. By all means, carry on doing the most unfathomably boring and grindy thing possible in Rimwater and then complain when it's unfathomably boring and grindy. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I've got 59.94 melee. Also, why is the rest of that box empty? You know what? Oh, everything's falling apart. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, in disguise, in the background, the entire game has been falling apart. You don't need to worry about that. You don't need to worry about that. I've got top men on it. Top men. It's me. It's me. I've been fixing it in the background while I've been waiting for Grigna to fly to the different raid locations. Hello. Um... They're sapping again. Try and be sensible with things. I manually patch out sapper raids. What you've done? You've made me a fool again. You're not even Void. Who the hell is Ida? Enemy town councilman of Void. Was she running the fucking local elections? Now what are you doing? They're, they're, they're retreating. They're retreating. You're retreating. Oh, you're ready to retreat these nuts. Oh, we'll fight Void fairly. We'll have an epic showdown. Nope. That's off the menu now. No, I'm done with it. Eee. Okay, holy shit. They are still void. <laughs> they are still void. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. I feel sorry for you. She hasn't even got any of the bionics. She's just somebody who turned up. Work experience or something. Hey, I'll admit, this is like 10% cool. Me fighting all these horrible void members and, to be fair, almost getting my cheekies clapped. Again, so much stuff that the game can't even understand what's happening. And to be fair, that makes two of us. They're not down 78. They knocked down 78 and I'm on 18%. This is the fight I've been looking for. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, we're gonna have to well, okay, we're gonna have to be a little more careful here then, because this is getting a little sweaty. Um, give that to you, and then one on uh, one on you. Man, I love this side power. This has been real MVP of the whole thing. There you go, boom. Okay, be careful now. Be careful. Then we could uh I wanna I wanna jump away and try that. Yeah, I wanna try this power. Because this power looks cool as hell. Uh how does it oh I gotta wait for them to get a little closer first. Hold. Yes! Shit, they're still interrupting it. Shit, they are all through the base. Oh my god, I'm not going to survive this one. 78's back up. Grigna's fully healed. Oh, well, that's bloody good news. As long as Grigna's healed. Uh, wait. Oh, I did lose a Grigna. You're right. Can't count. Don't, just don't listen to me. I can't count or do maths or anything vaguely expected of me. Stand back. Stand back. Let, let your gun do the heavy lifting. Oh, but the walls are made of Eltex. Oh, God, why didn't I make him out of a stronger material? Ah, be careful, be careful, be careful. Tremendous, really, just tremendous. Tremendous and amazing work. Uh, you little shit, you might want to get out of there. You might want to You might want to jump, flee, fly, run, whatever you prefer. Get out of the way of those bullets. How close was I to dying? 10% health remaining. Oh, then it's a fair, this is a fair fight. This is good, I like this. I mean, it's a fair fight. That doesn't mean I'm willing for them to destroy the entire base. Not clearly when that's 78's job. <laughs> okay. Why is the reactor screaming? Okay, that's good. Yeah, thank you. Your transport pods are right. What's wrong with the reactor? What's happening? Okay. Scram. Uh, look, look at this. Why is the reactor scrammed, though? But they've got water. Did they cut off the cooling? No, the cooling towers are all connected. Why now are you sad about this? Everything's the same. What's wrong with you? I don't understand. I don't understand. You're, you're fine. You're fine. What's wrong? Oh, they cut off the power grid? They cut off the power... No, they kind of cut off the power grid. Look at how interconnected it all is. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's all just turned off. Here we go again. <laughs> are, we, are we good now? Can I restart? I've restarted, and there are seemingly no issues. Oh, no, look at that. Oh, one of the tower lines must have been cut then, maybe. Oh, weird. What the hell's happened with that, though? What What do you mean? The power line was cut to this one tower. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, it wasn't. What? What's What's happening? What? It's through there, connected through there, down there. How has this one not got power? What are you talking about? Reconnect? My brother in Christ, I don't understand why this one is being so weird. It's fine. Oh, now it's back on. Are we good? Okay, and we can ramp it back up with no problems, and I've changed absolutely nothing. I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know, I don't understand. Ooh, the fun never stops! Look at this! Embrace the, embrace the madness at this point. I think we just, I think I, I tried to be sensible with Void, and every fucking time, no matter what I patch, what I change, what I adjust, the line, nah! 
No, we're not going to fight you head on. We're going to go through your walls. We're going to go through your walls. Oh, by the way, we mine through everything instantly as if it's not there. You can treat me like a clown. I'm going to treat you like a clown. I'm going to treat you. And I mean that very literally. Void, the king is in need of a court jester. <laughs> I, think, I think we send it. I think we go full mad medieval king humped up on just about every drug under the face of the sun. Give me it all. I'll take uppers. I'll take downers. I'll take sideways. I didn't even know what coma and memnir are, but I'll I'll take them. Potassium iodide. <laughs> okay, maybe you shouldn't take potassium. Well, actually, to be fair, maybe we should. War casket compatible yayo. Hello? Ultra fine and ultra poor compound of yayo, specially crafted to induce an even greater high than normal yayo. Ooh. However, due to an oddity with armor calculation, I mean, oh, the molecular structure of pure yayo, it can only be properly consumed by war caskets. Ooh. You know what? Forget about all this weak shit. Friendship ended with sensible, sensible mods that I try and patch. No, 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 no. Show me. Show me the psychoid. Where is the psy- There is a psychoid. Give me that. Your fun. Void. By mocking me at every turn. Every single time. I think, Oh, great progress. Oh, let's break the game. Oh, 10% health. 10% health. After combining every mo bro broken mod I could find. 10% health. And the only thing I was able to stop them with was some bullshit gun. Is what we're going to rename it to. <laughs> 78. I'll take a fresh helping of nonsense. The highlight of my day has been sending a brain damaged man to die. <laughs> <laughs> Base destroyed, by the way. <laughs> oh, baited boy. Oh! I just lost another Grigna. <laughs> ah. My God. Oh, my God, Grigna. I think. I think that was it. I think I'm free. I think it's over. True enemies all along. The mechanoids defeated. It's just me and my best friend and worst enemy and greatest foe, biggest, most sensual lover. Void themselves. And though many Grignas were lost, they stand victorious. They stand proud. Stronger than any Grigna who's come before. Debatably. Almost as strong as some Grignas that have come before, but not all of them. Oh, my horrifying Void Beasts are all playing together. Oh, this is so lovely. Look at that. They're having such a fun time. You know, you know, he's not having a, having a fun time. You know, he's not having a fun time. Me, me, fucking me. Me, I'm supposed to be the king. I built this series and called it Catharsis, and it's driven me to fucking insanity. Void, it's Void. It's Void. Don't come through here, Void. Come through the front door where we can have an epic showdown. No. No, no, thank you. I'm just gonna go right through this fucking vault wall. In a mod pack where I was supposed to be the king. And nobody could stop me. And I was gonna be cool. I was gonna be a Mary Sue or a, what is it? Mark Sue, James Sue. I don't know what his fucking name is. I was gonna sit here on my golden throne. And what happened? Grigna turned up and stole the show. Stole my wife. And then Void stole my dignity. I was supposed to be a king. And instead I'm just a sad nerd on a throne. On a big, stupid fucking throne. You know what? Maybe there's a solution, Raggy. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. Come along, children. I'm going to take stuff. Grandma's cooking. Oh, Grandma, if you've been cooking up extremely potent homegrown crack cocaine. Inspired, inspired surgery. Yeah, why don't you do surgery on these nuts? No, don't do that. I wish I hadn't said that out loud. Don't do that. Why not? Why not at this point? Give him Grigna my crown. Grigna my crown. And it'll be, we can build another crown, another throne for 78. And they can rule together as lovers. And I can sit there as his little castrati jester. Seeing him a, a lovely... Aria. You lie in your golden pod. You lie in your goddamn golden pod. I'll just stand out here in the dark and I'll repair the wall. I'm gonna build a farm. I'm gonna build a farm and there are gonna be bees. There's gonna be puppies and kittens and I'm just gonna build a farm and it's just gonna be me. It's gonna be Rimworld me and nothing's going to happen. There's not gonna be any raids. There's not gonna be any mechanoids. There's not gonna be any landings or solar flares or nuclear reactors or Grigna. It's just gonna be me on a farm without concrete. Instable health. What they, what they missed, they accidentally put a space there. What they meant is instable health. As in I'm not very stable. Seven hours I've been sat here. For what? What have I done? I've punched some 
mechanoid ships. I punched a ship, and I still got killed by Void. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Look at all this stuff. It doesn't matter what you've got. Let's just carry on with the build based on my hopes and dreams. Maybe we forget about the combat. Maybe we just forget about the combat, and we just make a lovely base. Maybe you just stick to what you know. It's me. <laughs> I thought for a second that I clapped the mechanoid so hard that they started to send me a trade request. Void, and if you remember, Frigate 646 was originally a mechanoid ship that Void took over. Void have a special request. They want to buy coal bowls. They want to buy coal bowls. <laughs> I was building a base. I started to decorate, and then I thought to myself, no, no, my sanity can't take anymore. Little Grigna neighborhood where they've apparently littered with their swords. I don't know why they've littered it with their swords. I thought that the five surviving Grignas of the Mechanoid War deserved the Mechanoid Grigna War specifically, deserve some nice houses. They've got PCs, they've got sideways aquarium, they've got interactive tables, a lovely bedroom, bathrooms each, a hot tub each, and I turned this watchtower into a full-on goddamn sauna. Use the sauna. How do I get him to use the sauna? Prototype? No, no, just like sit like sit in the sauna. There you go, good enough. I'd love to go around the whole edge of the map, keep doing this, but I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm done. <laughs> I've done enough base building. I'm content with it. Just give me that, give me that war casket. Yeah, let's, let's get to work. It dawns on me now at the, at the end of this episode that I once again try to do the impossible with this series. I, I try to balance the unbalanceable, but Void prides itself on being unique and complex and difficult and strange and, and kind of intentionally obfuscating. It's meant to be hard to understand it and it's meant to be harder to deal with. And I thought in my infinite wisdom, hey, I've got uh, a spare five minutes in between move and house. Why don't I try and balance a mod pack around it? What's a moron? I have decided, Rim Rims, I am throwing in the towel. This has driven me insane. This will not be the final episode. I know I've said this before. Tomorrow's episode will be the last episode, but tomorrow we are leaning into the madness entirely. Fuck it. Set up a hundred deep drills, all mining whatever ridiculous stuff we can come up with. Put down a field of unlimited nuclear bombs. A wall's 50 blocks thick. Or instead of 12 Plasteel Marauders, what about 12,000 Plasteel Marauders? I'm gonna find a lovely Jester Outfit mod on their the workshop, and I am going to turn Void into my own personal clown army. I've decided. Sensible series be damned. I mean, it was kind of damned episode two when we installed that bloody meme mod. And let me remind you, Rim Rims, there was one technology I said was forbidden. I am unforbidding it for one last great send-off. But before we do, this is one thing I have to do. I'm just going to jump in the carryall for a second, and I think I'm going to go visit Void Headquarters, which I think is Megalopolis, Netches, New Fairview Laboratory... Uh, which one's their capital? Void Research Labs. Here we go. I'm just going to go pay them a visit. Why don't we go pay Void a visit? Me, personally, one lunatic to another. Maybe tomorrow's episode will begin with that confrontation. I'm going to demand to see the head of Void personally, and they are not unreasonable people. I'm sure that they'll respect my wishes. See you all then. As the carryall takes me to the final showdown, the inevitable face-to-face -face meeting with the mysterious man behind Void. I will say thank you all for watching. Join me tomorrow for the finale. It will be explosive. Even if you haven't watched the rest of the series very thoroughly up to this point, I'm going to try and do everything in my power to make tomorrow's episode something definitely to watch. A standalone experience, hopefully. Let's see... If that actually works out. Thank you, of course, to Worker of Secrets, Bubble Shy, Zaffy Poo, Spongy1312, Cake, Hardware, Ice Maverick, Anthony Frackenthal, Isolated, Entropy, Pun Lord, Cosmosenti, Blubbish Cower, Nirvana Kingsman, or Kansas, Mako, the White Fox God, Jim Stevenson, Asana Kirito, Chocolate Milkman, Chuckles, Dexter Low, Night B, Roan, Ash Sooner, Omega, Michaelanius. Christopher Briers, Vazility, Tanya Degurachev, Sydney, 
and on Wise Planes for their support of the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. We are very slowly catching up with the Patreon list. I'm at the end of the April list now, then we're jumping over to May. But to be fair, this time last month, I was still on like the very early part of the March. So it's all it's all catching up. You just can bear with me a little bit because, of course, we missed a lot of content over the past kind of month or so. There's been like days missing. So it's taken me a lot longer to catch up, but we are getting there. Again, thank you for bearing with me, patrons. Uh, luckily, over the past couple of days, things have resolved. There was a big ongoing issue that is now completely solved. Actually, two big ongoing issues that have been completely resolved. So I will do a big old update video very soon with, with everything there is to say on that front. So thank you for your patience as always. Thank you as well to Aragon Awesome, Elizabeth Lagrosse, Diamuid, That's One, Fritter, Flex Bowls, Met Bar, Luna Chandler, Blaticus, Erun... Erunildo, Kai, Kreeft, Z Audio 951, Lanus L, Betamus, Max, Voidless, I hope so, Runa, Reeftopia, Asgaran, Elliptic, Crazed, Monkey, 231, Luna Maya, Zen Master, Roughshot, and MW. Thank you for bearing with me, as always. See you all tomorrow for an astounding resolution. <laughs>